Amazon Q apps tutorial. With Amazon Q apps, we can create generative AI powered apps based on organization's data. And we build these apps using natural language. So let's begin. In AWS console, go to Amazon Q business and hit get started. Choose create application. Provide an application name. For service access, we will choose the first option of create and use a new service linked role. Scroll down. Our users will come via IAM Identity Center and we will look at that later. Hit create. Choose the first option of use native retriever. Retrievers are used to pull data into Amazon Q. Index provisioning starter. Hit next. Our data source would be via upload files and we will be uploading our files later. Hit next. Okay, we will add users later again. And now hit create application. Wait for the application to be created. Our application has been created. Let's create users in IAM Identity Center. Under Users, you can add a user. I have already created a user with a username Joe, so I'll not be again creating it. And under Applications, you can see the application you just created. Now, return to the application we created earlier and here scroll down to the groups and users section select users hit manage access and subscriptions now here we should be able to add a user okay choose the option of assign existing users and groups search for the user we had seen earlier in im identity center and hit assign All right, so that user will show up and note that the current subscription is no subscription. We need to change that. Select the user, hit change subscription. Okay, and here we will choose the business pro as our new subscription. Hit confirm. All right, so the subscription has been updated and the user has been assigned to this particular application now in the data sources section hit add data source and choose upload files here we will upload our two files which is products.pdf and sales.pdf these are our data sources okay wait for them to be uploaded and then hit done You will see the upload status as processing and after a while it will change to indexed okay so our data source files have been uploaded let's take a quick look at the products pdf file this has a catalog of products it has information like product id product name and description right for many products And this is the sales PDF file, which contains product sales data. So which has information like product ID, product name, unit sold, and sales value of each product. Now against our application, you will see a link to the web experience. So select that. And this will take us to a page and prompt us to log in so let's log in and uh, this is the same user which we saw in im identity center so we use the credentials of this user to log in sign in 
and we have successfully logged it. Here on the left hand side, you can see the options of chat, apps, and library. Let's begin with chat. List all available backpacks. And we get a response with a list of backpacks and their description. Let's look at the source. So, this information is coming from the products PDF file that we had uploaded earlier. Our next prompt What is the sale value and units sold for each of these products? And there we get a response with sales value and units sold. Let's look at the source, which should be sales PDF. Now, if we want to create an app based on this conversation, hit create Amazon Q app. This will create a prompt based on this conversation. So let's look at what it has come up with. Generate an app that takes product type as input and outputs a list of available products of that type, including product names and description, and the sales value and units sold for each listed product. This app should use the product data and sales data already available in the queue system. All right, so if you're good with that, hit generate, or you can modify it and then hit generate. Okay, let's wait for a while. So our app has been generated. Now, a quick reminder before we proceed further we do not have to start a chat conversation and then hit uh, create uh, Amazon Q app from this conversation. That's one way to do it. Or you can directly come to the apps menu and then type in whatever your requirement is. For example, generate an app based on so and so requirements and then hit the generate button. That would work fine too. Let's provide a product type laptop. Hit run. There are two output cards here, product list and sales data. Product list shows the list of products of type laptop. And on the other card, we will see the sales value and units sold for these products. Right? So this is on expected lines. Let's take a closer look at these application cards. So this first one expects an input and uh, which is product type. Let's modify the placeholder. So we have the following product types, laptop, backpack, watch, shoe. Update that, okay. And uh, then we have this product list card, which is an text output card. Okay, and uh, let's change its height and width. Hit edit and take a close look at the prompt. Right, so given the product type, it refers to another card which is product type and then says generate a list of available products, etc. Right, so we will modify this highlight product name. Hit save. Add a new card, choose text output as the type of the card, and provide a title. Total sale, right? So we want to print total sale in this card, okay? Provide sum of sale value of products of category. Right, so we'll refer another card, product type. Okay, provide sum of sale value of products of category, product type. Only provide the total sale value and no other explanation. For example, total sales value is so and so. Hit save. Right, so we 
just added this new card. Let's rearrange these cards a bit. Okay, you must get the product type at the top because that's the input. Okay, we are all set. Let's provide a different product type now. Shoe and uh, hit run. Waiting for the result. And here in product list, you can see different shoes and their descriptions. In sales data, you can see the sales value and units sold for each shoe. And in total sales, we have the total sales value for products in the shoe category. Hit the publish button and choose appropriate labels. Hit publish. So the app has been published to the library. Now, if you go to the library section, you will find the app listed here under various labels. So other users can find the app in the library. Now, for our app, if you go to admin controls and guardrails, under global controls, there are two interesting settings. Allow end users to send queries directly to LLM and allow Amazon Q to fall back to LLM knowledge. Now, you can enable these settings if you want to, depending on your requirements. So with that, we come to the end of our tutorial on Amazon Q apps.